Hello everybody, uh, how's everyone doing today? Um, it's John Valente uh, from the Vintage Goalie Group. If you listen very closely, you can hear the cicadas up in the trees. Um, I have a story to tell. I'm, I've actually been on disability. Uh, this will be my second week. I have a, a major health issue. I'm, I'm going to need surgery, it looks like. Uh, I'm waiting for a biopsy and uh, another uh, set of MRIs. I'm waiting for these appointments. Um, there happens to be a big tumor inside my arm. And uh, I'm not sure why I'm telling this story, but it's been life changing so far. Um, I still managed to buy a pair of goalie gloves, which I think I'm crazy for because I'm going to have a lot of medical debt come in my way. Uh, disability is paying me half of what I would normally make. Um, and th th thankfully, I had a, a job that had a good disability program. Um, so I guess I'm asking you guys for prayers that any surgery goes well or this, this tumor I have is non-cancerous and it's benign. That's what I'm being hopeful with. Uh, but regardless of that, uh, it's 90 degrees out, it's hot as hell. Feels like it's 100 out here with the sun uh, blazing on you. Uh, I'm gonna open up a box of gloves here. Uh, these are Cooper GM31 gloves uh, and a GM12 blocker. I have very similar ones here. This, I'm saying probably around 1988, this one came out. I found a, a matching GM9 blocker, which it's not that bad for being a GM9, it really isn't. I mean, a waffle board's a waffle board, right? Uh, <laughs> I mean, this thing actually, yeah, no no padded fingers on the GM9, unfortunately. Uh, anyways, it has the, the, the shields, the finger shields, but that's about it. But uh, we're going to open up this baby here. Uh, this is from Michael Rehack. Uh, I, I want to say from... York. So the New York area, uh, East Coast guy. And uh, he put up for sale. Very well packaged, Mike. Um, a set of Cooper gloves. Jeez, it looks like uh, I bought a vintage clock or something. The way he packed is very nice. Um, wow. Very cool. guy doesn't mess around. He even stuffed the, uh, I could smell the Febreze, eliminate some of those odors while it's en route to uh, Illinois. But uh, I'm a huge Mike Richter fan. I could not pass up on these. I haven't seen a set like this for sale in the seven years or eight years I've been collecting gear uh, with the, you know, Rangers USA color scheme. Very nice condition. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. how the blocker fares. Blocker's a GM12. I'm assuming this is from around 1988-89 era, you know, before the GM31 became the, the GM Pro. And here you go. You got the, uh, you got the Pro Blocker. Padded finger protection doubled up palm with a layer of foam in the middle, differentiating from the GM9. Uh, you still get the finger shield, except it's made out of a more durable, dura soft material as opposed to the nylon. Of course, the back of this is also nylon. This is that nice, durable, I don't know how durable, but it's dura soft. Uh, but man, this thing feels great. Very nice condition. He listed them for 400 US. Uh, I offered him 300, and he took the he took the offer. So can't wait to put these with my Mike Richter Vaughn Legacies. And uh, very cool. Thank you, uh, Mike Rehack, again. And signing off here, John Valente. Um, wish me the best, guys, with my uh, health issues right now. I'm uh, hoping for the best, and. Uh, God bless.